some people are saying they don't have a Windows driver for their printer, all in one printer, scanner. But for most, we have printers, all in one printers. And they open up control panel, find the uh, printer devices, click it, takes a while. Go to your printer. You know, this is whatever printer you're using. Make sure it's the defaults. And then you just press start scan. You can make sure it's checked there. And then you can you know, you know, check properties. Uh, color management. Something like that. It should actually. It should let you check the properties for. Uh, Drivers, so it doesn't. Anyway, you just make sure this is set to whatever you want. I want documents, scan, press scan, and the scanner should go off. Windows has a generic driver that installs it, it detects the printer. You won't get advanced features because it's a generic driver. That would only come with the software from the printer, but most don't have, a lot don't have drivers from Windows 10. So just name it something. Uh, it doesn't matter. Import it, and you'll see where it tells you the directory here. If you want to like go to your file manager, see user C pictures, it'll be there. It's gonna be named something 001.jpg. You can order it by date even when you get to that directory to find it quickly. That's the that's the uh, picture that's scanned. That's correct. But another way, if that doesn't work, you could just double click the printer. It should show you a page, something like this. Windows, you know, it should be generically similar to this. And maybe there's a scan photos and that one right there. A link like that. Same thing. You scan. Now if this doesn't work, you could you could go down to the device manager, like this little circle thing, con narrow, whatever it's called, type device manager in, and then click it and figures it out. Find printers, right click that, uninstall it, unplug your printer from the computer even, and um reboot Windows, then plug it back in. It's probably the USB port. Let Windows detect it, install a driver, and hopefully, you know, that fixes it. And if if not, that just means like, you know, your printer, either it's too generic, or it's, you, you know, it was made, <laughs> if it's a Canon, that's what she said. I can't believe it wouldn't support a generic driver, or it's expensive one that, you know, is using... Uh, specialty drivers that Windows can't work with. But, um, for the most part, I've I've luckily found Windows has generic drivers, you know, that work with uh, standard um, issue, you know, issues. They just take um, printer drivers, just take uh, commands in the software. So I I could see. I could see where they you know would make them uh specific and Windows wouldn't know you know what the command is. Um I guess that means there's really no standard in the industry even though this worked for me and I was happy. So I'll just say word. You import it, there it is. Uh, I can't think of you know if this doesn't work I don't know how else to, you know get a get the printer to you know work with Windows 10. Uh, maybe go to another forum online somewhere. But I was just happy to share this when I figured it out. Hopefully it helps people. So you know there you have it. Try both of those ways. Doesn't work. Try to you know uninstall and unplug and reboot the computer and then plug it back in and. Hopefully that works. So, happy, happy scanning. Thank you. Or a good day.